A little more than a year ago, a group of business leaders formed the Arkansas Aerospace Alliance, a trade association focused on developing the aerospace and aviation industries in the state. Here are some basics about the industry that you should know. Data from Arkansas officials indicates that the state's aerospace and aviation industry has about 180 companies, employs more than 9,000 Arkansans, and accounts for annual exports of more than $1.8 billion. Joining me to talk business is Chad Causey, the recently hired executive director for the Arkansas Aerospace Alliance. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Sure, Roby. Really happy to be here. T tell me what type of companies we're talking about when we talk aerospace, aviation. Some people might think space, the final frontier. <laughs> obviously, we think of Dassault Falcon Jet, but there's much more to it than that. Uh, sure. Uh, obviously, space is a part of it. Uh, uh, not so much here in Arkansas, but, but there are companies throughout the country that focus on on NASA projects, for example. But uh, here in Arkansas, it's, uh, it's a very uh, versatile uh, industry. Uh, we have advanced manufacturers, as you've mentioned, around mm -hmm. 180 uh, manufacturers in the state uh, making some type of a component for aircraft or defense products. Uh, we have uh, uh, companies that range from uh, uh, finishing out uh, uh, major private jetliners uh, to defense companies down in Camden that are, that are making uh, missiles or components for missiles, uh, not to mention all of the uh, fixed base operators uh, that are on airports out there providing fuel and other services mm -hmm. uh, and maintenance uh, repair operations uh, that are throughout the state that service existing uh, airlines. Why is this um, an industry that we want to see develop and grow. What's the growth potential in here? Why is that so critical? Why is it not um, a failing manufacturing base? Sure. Well, these are uh, wonderful jobs and great jobs for our Kansans to have. So certainly from that standpoint, uh, the more uh, companies that we could get to grow here in Arkansas or locate here uh, creates great opportunities to, to create great jobs for our Kansans. Uh, we, we look at a lot of the impacts that uh, and pressures on the aerospace industry and you know the economy is one of those things the economy is on its swing up we believe uh, and we also look at in the aerospace industries what are, what are called clusters uh, and there are some big ones like out in Washington State uh, where they finish out major major jet airliners mm -hmm. uh, here in Arkansas we have somewhat of a strategic position here and and what we would think would be a good location to grow the existing cluster that we have with both our defense industries located down around Camden mm -hmm. but also with Dassault Falcon Jet here in, in Little Rock and the manufacturers that service uh, uh, those industries we are strategically located here in Arkansas along a, a aerospace axis that runs from roughly uh, southern Iowa down through Kansas and into the Dallas Fort Worth area where they build a lot of fighter jets for the US Air Force we are strategically located along a lot of points where we and our manufacturers here in the aerospace industry in the state can service them at, at, at uh, uh, minimal logistical challenges there. Uh, we, we can get to all those points quickly uh, and there's some real potential with, with regionally where we're located. You mentioned earlier two fixed-based operators. These are local airports basically where people fly in and fly out. Now there have been, because of the sequester, there's been two uh, potential closures, one in Fayetteville, one in Texarkana that I know some congressional officials have been fighting. There's been some concern raised about that. Are two towers in Arkansas really that critical? Well, I think so. When, when you look at it from a safety standpoint, uh, we do have a significant number of planes flying in and out of those airports. Uh, and our industry sees it as a safety issue from the, from the commercial and private aviation side of things. Uh, it's our understanding that those uh, tower closures will be postponed at least for a time. Uh, members of our congressional delegation, including Senators Pryor and Senator Bozeman, uh, as well as Congressman Cotton from the 4th District, have uh, introduced legislation or co-sponsored legislation that would, that would require FAA to not close those towers and, and keep them open. And, and certainly uh, our industry appreciates their efforts in, in looking out for the uh, safety of the aviation community. Grant Tennille, the state's jobs chief, told a gathering of your alliance just a few weeks ago up in uh, Fort Smith that uh, he wanted to see Arkansas grow this aerospace industry at a faster rate than some of our sister states. Is that a, a tax code change? Is it some sort of economic incentive that needs to be in place? What, what has to happen to accelerate past 
Kansas and parts of Texas and southern Iowa and Missouri and things that are along that axis that you talked about. Sure. Well, we're growing. Uh, in, in 2012, we, as you noted, we had $1.8 billion in value-added exports that came from the aerospace industry. Largest value-added export for the state of Arkansas. Uh, that ranked us about 11th or 12th nationally. Uh, now, there are four or five states, including Washington State, Texas, California, Connecticut, uh, and, and some others, Pennsylvania, Colorado, Florida, that are, that are bigger than we are, but we have some room for growth there. For some of the regional advantages that we have, we can, we can service uh, with our manufacturers some of those uh, uh, major uh, buyers out there in, in Kansas and Texas with, with our parts that we're making here. Uh, but I think it's a combination of the two things. Obviously, the tax code's important. General Assembly right now is considering a couple of different uh, revisions to the tax code, including uh, tax cuts to manufacturing right. uh, manufacturers. That would be a positive impact on our aerospace manufacturers, as well as a potential uh, tax exemption on repair and replacement of parts, right. repair parts. Uh, those two things would be uh, uh, very critical to the industry. All right. He's Chad Causey. He's the executive director of the Arkansas Aerospace Alliance. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Roby.